Well, hello, YouTube. Well, guys, it's uh, day 18 of the big vlog. I'm Sven Van Dam. Hello, welcome. Um, as promised, here's the answers to the questions that I received a couple of days ago in uh, some kind of order, being the order that's about to follow. Onward! That would have to be drums. I'm good at drums. I'm good at listening too. I'm quite bad at not looking at the camera. Probably doing enough around the house. My girlfriend is a saint and she actually does a lot of stuff around the house. Um, I could probably do a lot more. House, car, stuff! What? No! I'm not getting into that discussion on YouTube, sorry. We're here to have fun. Well, I am. But we're not here to discuss stuff like that. If you want discussions like that, there's plenty of people that want to give you... Give? Tell you their opinion. I think the main thing to remember is cider is what you drink when you don't like the taste of alcohol. So you generally see people drinking that when they're about 12, 13, 14, which is sad, but Lark is also quite evil. Um, it, is the, it is the bringer of the beer monkey, and you will end up probably hating the stuff, like I do now. I'll still drink it if there's nothing else, but if there's a choice, neither are on my list, I'm afraid. Ale. My favourite ale in the whole world. It's a tough one because I I do like a lot of ale, let's face it. Um, I am an ale drinker, I do enjoy it. Uh, the, the most surprising ale I've ever had was actually called Fruit Bat. I had an aftertaste of, of raspberry, which was really quite nice. The most scariest thing. It's not that big a deal if you just talk about it, but I injured my back a few months ago and uh, it was one of the reasons why I didn't end up taking a lot of time on videos because I, I couldn't stand up and feel comfortable but after getting it sorted out by a chiropractor I ended up feeling that my, my back was like really loose and bad and, and it was healing but it felt really really bad so thankfully I'm okay now I can move, I can move like this, yeah I like my English rock heritage to be honest and with a little bit of American thrown in as well. Uh, your Led Zeppelin, your Pink Floyd. Um, not too keen on the Beatles, to be honest, but they have their place in history. Movies? Oh, Christ. I knew someone would ask this. I know I didn't really say what my favourite three movies were before, but lately, Avatar's got to be up there, just for the spectacle. I wouldn't say of all time, but of recent memory. Um, the original Matrix film, and Lord of the Rings trilogy. I like, I like big events. Football team. Now you might think because I'm English I have a football team. Well, to be honest, I never really have got on with football at all. Um, football to me doesn't make any sense. It's like it's like having a fight with without the fighting. Uh, you, you put on your tribe colours, you go out and, and you shout stuff at the opposing team. I'm one of those people that kind of falls out of football discussions, so I don't really have a football team. Sorry. One, stop people getting into this blame culture and suing everybody for the slightest mishap and start taking responsibility for your own actions. If you walk down the road and you fall over, it is not somebody else's fault. If you crash into someone, that's your fault. That's why you have insurance. Make people take more responsibility for what they're doing. What's the worst thing I've ever done? Well. Actually, snare, do you want to answer that one? The worst thing that I've possibly ever done. Whew. You guys know how to make someone feel bad. I've had to sit and think about this because I am awesome. But the, one of the things that I did that I feel I regret the most in my life, which was a friend of mine was getting married and I was going through a funny phase of not really being that organised and basically I got I got the week wrong of his of his wedding day 
and because of that I lost a really good friend. Favourite YouTuber? Well, there's a lot of people I do actually like watching. And for somebody that's doing kind of well at the moment, somebody that's doing great stuff, and as much as it pains me to say it, because he's doing so much better than I am on YouTube at the moment, but uh, yeah, I nearly appreciate that. Um, I was his first subscriber, and I'll always stand by him for what he does on YouTube. He's got a fantastic random mind. It's my name is Chris, yeah. Definitely my favourite YouTuber. I'm sure there's many out there that you know I could enjoy and get as much satisfaction from watching their videos, but man, Chris, you got it down, boy, and you need to keep doing it. You know, weeds in the garden, crap. A certain type of weed that makes you see things get chilled out. I haven't got a great problem with. That my point is that people do things too much. You know, a glass of wine's nice. Being completely wankered and beating up your wife is not. Same as having a few tokes on a spliff. Fine. Having so much that you forget where you are, what you're doing, and you can't be bothered to meet anyone for a drink, or um, go to work, or look after your kids. Bad. <laughs> Buying my first house. It was like I'd become a man, you know? It's like, ugh. Favourite food? Hmm, that's a tough one. I'll tell you why, it's because I like everything. But I have to say my favourite, favourite, favourite food is probably going to be something with rice. Rice or pasta? Have I ever been slapped? I don't think I have. No, I've never had whoosh or whoosh. Green tea. I'm kind of getting into it. It's one of my kind of take it or leave it drinks. It's quite nice, but god damn, it makes me piss. Guys, you are the snared, and you have been. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you very soon.